Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss some oral surgery MCQ questions along with some picture based questions. Now question number one, in case of subcondylar fracture, the condyle move in which direction? Now option A, anterior lateral direction, option B, anterior medial direction, option C, posterior lateral direction and option D, posterior medial direction. I will give you some time for think. Now answer. The answer is B. Anterior medial direction. Why? Due to pull of lateral pterygoid muscle. Read the question carefully. The movement of condyle in case of subcondylar fracture. It is anterior medial direction why due to pull of lateral pterygoid muscle now next question the proximal segment of mandibular angle fracture usually displaced in which direction read carefully proximal segment of mandibular angle fracture usually displaced in which direction option a anterior and superior option b posterior and interior option c interior only option d posterior and superior now the answer is anterior and superior why due to pull of masseter medial pterygoid and temporalis muscle so the proximal segment of mandibular angle fracture usually displaced in anterior and superior direction due to pull of masseter, medial pterygoid and temporalis muscle. Next question. You can see the picture here. This type of fracture seen in option A, edentulous patient, option B, children, Option C, soldiers. Option D, young adults. You can see in the picture, I can zoom it, yeah. Bilateral fracture in the molar area. So, this kind of fracture, where you can see, in edentulous patient or children or soldier or young adults. Answer is, edentulous patients. The molar areas are weak in case of edentulous mandible and it became site for bilateral fracture. It is also called bucket handle fracture. Important point. This bilateral fracture at the molar area of edentulous patients is also called bucket handle fracture. And its movement is, you can see the movement after fracture the movement is down and backward due to diagastric and myelohyoid muscles. So all the lines are important for MCQ. This bucket handle fracture is seen in edentulous patient and the fractured segment the movement is down and backward due to diagastric and myelohyoid muscles. Next question. You can see here that this is a procedure, some instrument is inserted in that region just below the zygomatic arch and the instrument is trying to do elevation of zygomatic arch. So this procedure, what is the name of this procedure? There are many MCQs will form from this picture, I will discuss later. But what is this procedure, the name of the procedure, Gillies approach or Keen's approach? So, I think you know this, this is Gillies approach of elevation of zygomatic arch. Now, the discussion is important. 
an instrument the bristow instrument is inserted deep to the temporal fascia and superficial to the temporalis muscle okay so the where in which position in which layer we insert this instrument this is also a mcq question we insert this instrument just below the superficial temporalis fascia but superficial to the muscle temporalis muscle so this is very important the insertion of this instrument deep to the temporal fascia but superficial to the temporalis muscle and we depressed we, we use this uh, instrument to elevate the depressed zygomatic arch our next question you can see two instrument here you have to identify these two instrument what is the name this is very important can you see this now answer see carefully first and second more or less similar instrument but the first instrument's beak is little bended upward here you can say now the answer is first is as forceps and second is valsum forceps see carefully the name of the forceps first one is as forceps and second is valsum forceps now the first forceps as forceps it is used to reduce the fracture of nasal segment eh, sorry nasal septum nasal septum and the second forceps valsum the use of this forceps is to reduce the fracture of nasal bone so this is very important next again two instruments you can see and numbered 1 and numbered 2 what is the name of these two instruments you can see these two instruments they are applying force in the maxillary and try to do something so what is the name of these two instrument you can see the big of two instruments there are separate instruments number 1 and number 2 you have to identify these two instruments answer is the first one is rose maxillary disinfection forceps rose maxillary disinfection forceps and the second is hayton williams disinfection forceps both these forceps the function is to advance or reduction of the maxillary segment maxillary fracture segment so you can see first one is rose maxillary disinfection forceps and second one is hayton williams disinfection forceps now the next question you can see some procedure here you have to name the procedure what is the name of this procedure you can see in this picture there is oblique here oblique osteotomy intentional oblique osteotomy of the zygomatic process and there is downward down fracturing with displacement below the articular tubercle this is articular tubercle of the condyle and the process is doing oblique osteotomy after that the fracture segment down fracturing with displacement below the articular tubercle what is the name of this procedure you have to tell the name is a very important question 
and the answer of this question is dot series procedure for the management of recurrent tmj dislocation in case of tmj recurrent tmj dislocation for controlling the movement of this condylar segment condylar head this procedure is done dot series procedure here we do oblique osteotomy of the maxillary process and we down fracture the segment and it obstructs the movement of the condylar head so this is very again very important question now the next question is the mechanical advantage obtained from the wheel and axle principle of elevator what is the mechanical advantage of wheel and axle principle of elevator what is the wheel and axle principle of elevator the crossbar elevator then what is the mechanical advantage option a 2.5 option b 3 option c 4.6 option d 6 what is the answer you go quickly the answer is 4.6 now the discussion crossbar or winters elevator the principal function is wheel and axle and the mechanical advantage is 4.6 apex elevator wedge elevator and extraction forceps they work on the principle of lever and wedge and the mechanical advantage is 2.5 and a straight elevator it also uh, function in the principle of lever and wedge and the mechanical advantage is 3 Cryer, it is also uh, the function, the principle used in Cryer is lever, lever function. And what is the mechanical advantage? I will let you know later. So this is the question, very important. Next question, a 22 year female patient complains of decreased mouth opening since 4 days. What could be, uh, this could be due to? Bony ankylosis of TMJ, oral submucous fibrosis, oropharyngeal fibrosis, impacted third molar. So, a female patient, young female patient, complains decreased mouth opening since four days. That means acute case. What can be the reason? Bony ankylosis of TMJ, it not acute. It is chronic process. Oral submucous fibrosis, it is also chronic process. Takes long days. Oropharyngeal fibrosis, this is also same. The answer is impacted third molar. Impacted third molar can cause pericoronitis and muscular Christmas. So the answer is impacted third molar. Now we'll go to the next question. And this will be our last question for today's session. To classify a chronic oral antral communication, what time duration is acceptable? Option A 7 days, B 14 days, C 21 days and D is 28 days. Again read question carefully. To classify a chronic oral antral communication, what time duration is acceptable? 7, 14, 21, 28 days. The answer is 14 days. Any oroantral fistula present for more than a 15 days is known as chronic oroantral fistula so you have to remember these things so this was today's last mcq we'll see you in the next video thank you very much